What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Olita Adams. And I wanted to start by giving a major shout out to hero of the channel, Kim. Uh, you are so massively appreciated, not only for sharing a lot of music with me, but for being very positive and supportive of the channel, being very funny in all the comments in different videos across the channel, especially with your comedic partner in crime, Han Solo. Shout out to you if you see this as well. Uh, but yeah, I just really appreciate the community that's grown up around this channel. Fair to say, we did just hit 3,000 subscribers. It's insane as someone who just started talking techno records to a couple dozen people. This has obviously become much more of a expansive journey, but there are certainly a handful of heroes who've helped this channel become what it has. And Kim, you are certainly one of those, so big shout out to you including for sharing Olita Adams, and we're up to what I assume is a bonus tune included in the folder for the 1990 album Circle of One, and it's the title track, but remixed. So I don't know if that means it'll have a more dance floor type of sound. Either way, I've enjoyed hearing Olita's music outside of Tears of Fears. I know Roland produced this album, but um, yeah, it's been a very jazzy and soulful um, and deeply personal, clearly, album. So. Um, massive shout out to Alita, massive shout out to Roland, and to all those who've been enjoying the reactions. Uh, so yeah, in the moment I don't remember what the next step for Alita will be. I'm sure Kim will comment, shout out to you in advance. Uh, and yeah, let's listen to it. This is the remix of Circle of One, the title track from her 1990 album of the same name. Nineties dance floor vibe. This one. Oh wait. When you came into my life, I just told me it's a very day. And my heart gave a warning in its for a moment. And I thought I would never get
sounds really good in the configuration of a dance groove. Uh, and what I was going to say at the beginning is, um, you know, recently I've been playing some like early '90s video games. I played one called Streets of Rage 2. I feel like the the sonics of this dance version would slot perfectly into that game. Nevertheless, um, yeah, like I said, you know, hearing it now a few times uh, between the first reaction and this remix, um, and, you know, hearing Kim and others talk about um, her music more generally, but this song specifically, you know, it's like hearing it again in this context, it's like, man, like the the meanings about loneliness and finding love and not ever wanting to go back to that place of emptiness, it like, it really comes across strongly, so... Um, shout out to Alita, uh, shout out to all the people who've been following this reaction series, which I feel like there's got to be a lot of Tears for Fears crossover. I know a few people for sure because you guys comment, so um, shout out to you and to others who, you know, may be watching without commenting. Um, but yeah, in the moment, I forget what the next step is for Alita. Do let me know, Kim. Um, and yeah, we'll get to that in good time. So uh, again, big shout out to Kim uh, and all the heroes of the channel. Big shout out to all the champions of the channel, anyone who's ever shared music with me. Shout out to all the friends of the channel, all the people who've been commenting. Um, and just, yeah, looking forward to uh, many more months and years of reactions and ex explorations of catalogs and riffs and all sorts of things. So. Big shout out to all of you. Luca would be as enthusiastic as me, but she's clearly sleeping. So in any case, I'll see you next time. Peace.